mollusks, like this garden snail. It's just one of over 150,000 different mollusks that flourish today. But when they first appeared, over half a billion years ago, mollusks were but tiny creatures inching around under a protective shell. How did the struggle for survival create so many variations on their original body plan? They face a world of attackers, hungry for their protein-rich, sweet-tasting flesh. But mollusks have survived, because their body parts manage to change as new challenges arise. The basic toolkit of a mollusk is evident in the abalone. Most mollusks have some kind of foot. For many, including the abalone, the foot muscle bestows mobility. When the foot brings them to food, mollusks eat by using a unique rasping tongue called a radula. Covering the vital organs is a fold of skin called the mantle. It's the mantle that secretes the trademark body armor of so many mollusks, the shell. The leafy hornmouth has developed just three well-placed ridges along its shell. These ridges add just enough thickness to foil a crab's attempt to get a shell-breaking grip. But since no shell provides perfect safety, some mollusks have added another method of defense. They've developed the means to outrun their enemies. <laughs> 